A long, long time back when I had actually started reading books and I got into this beautiful world of reading, I mostly used to read fiction books and it used to give me immense pleasure to be able to jump into the world of any random person in any random uh, place in the world and be able to travel along with that person's journey. And that's how my journey into reading started. And this was around the time when I was in in school or maybe I was in the graduation and that time I had a lot of time by myself during the entire day I had many hours dedicated for reading but as time goes by people change so I do change as well I changed and suddenly I was having few responsibilities I was having to study for my higher education and this really left me with a, a lot less time to read books. I was reading very less and suddenly this feeling crept in of not being able to read enough books. You know there is a feeling when you see everyone around you because there is a community of readers and you see them reading a book a week or maybe two books a week and then you realize yourself that you're not reading as much and that is when this feeling of not reading enough creeps in. So when I realized this thing, I became more aggressive towards reading. I used to read more aggressively. I started reading faster and this really happened and this actually led to me not enjoying books enough. And this realization really hit me when I completed reading 100 books. At that point of time, uh, when I completed 100 books, I asked myself, how many of these books do I truly remember? And I think the answer was not more than 50 or at the max 60. This was a big reality check for me because it was pretty clear that I was not enjoying the books I was reading, although I was reading more books. And this was also at that point of time when I started reading more non-fiction books and I got that knowledge that in any case, you can only read a certain number of books in your lifetime. You cannot read all the books. You will only be able to probably read 0.0001% of the books that have ever been published. So why not enjoy reading the books that you are reading instead of just flying through books, instead of reading 100 books a year or 200 books a year, why not enjoy reading them sip by sip, page by page. And when this realization crept in, I all of a sudden I stopped pushing myself. I stopped being aggressive towards books. I started treating them uh, with a lot more respect, with a lot more softness and my whole perspective towards reading changed. So giving you an example, right now I'm reading this book, Sapiens. Now it's a huge book. If you look at the thickness of this book, it's huge. And I know it's going to take me a lot of time to read this book, but I'm okay with it. I'm enjoying it. Sapiens is about the journey of human beings and how we became the way we are today and it would be a long book it is very obvious it would be a long book and if i just fly through it i might not understand even 50 percent of it so that's why i have made peace with reading at my own pace and not worrying about the world even if i'm able to read 10 books in a year or five books in a year it's fine if i am able to remember them and if i'm able to learn something from them and if I'm able to take something away from them, because these days I mostly read non-fiction books. And that's the point of reading. Don't rush along and just enjoy whatever you're reading. Because if you're not doing that, what's the point of reading books? Thank you for watching.